Hello boys and girls, welcome back to my channel. What do you think about this new classroom? Today, we are going to read another story about Pout Pout Fish from the 5 Minute Pout Pout Fish Stories. Are you ready? Let's go. Today's story is called Looking for Trouble. Hmm, who's looking for trouble? I don't want to be in trouble. One afternoon, the Pout Pout Fish was swimming around with some of his friends. Let's play tag, said Sonny. I'm not it. Not it, cried everyone except the Pout Pout Fish. He didn't mind being it to get the game started. Oh, he's such a good friend. When someone says, not it, do you say, not it? <laughs> Soon, he regretted being such a good sport. He could not catch anyone. Either his friends were extra speedy or he was extra slow today. This game is no good, he thought. Just then, Steffi and Clara darted right in front of him. Can't catch me, said the squid. Can't catch me, said the clam. Hmm, <laughs> he got them. Do you think he got them? Oh, the pout pout fish dove but missed them both. Instead, he scraped his tail. Ouch, he shouted. His friends paused the game to make sure he was okay. It wasn't a big scrape. After a few trembles and tears, the pout pout fish was feeling fine. Oh, good job being strong, pout pout fish. <laughs> Be careful, Pout Pout Fish, said Steffi and Clara. Let's play. I will be it. <laughs> I will be it now, said Sunny. With shouts and squeals, everyone darted away. Oh. Wow, I like the color of the book today. I think this new classroom is going to work out. What do you think? Let me know, give it a thumbs up if you like the new colors from this new classroom. The Pout Pout Fish scooted off with Flo and Ray, two very slithery sea creatures who joined the fun. As Sunny came closer, the Pout Pout Fish tried to slip under a ledge with them and he bumped his nose. Stop the game, said Flo. Pout Pout Fish is hurt again, said Ray. You keep finding trouble, said Steffi. Maybe you need a break, said Clara. The Pout Pout Fish's frown was bigger than ever. It wasn't a bad bump, but he decided Clara was right. Oh, he needs a little break, a little time out. <laughs> Stay right here, said Ray. Don't flick a flipper. It's for your own good, Pout Pout Fish. You don't know what could happen next, said Clara. The Pout Pout Fish sighed a big burst of bubbles. He was going to miss out on the rest of the game. But his friend Sunny knew what he was thinking. We won't play tag without you, she said. We'll stay right here and keep you safe. Oh, Sunny is such a good friend. Are you a good friend? I bet you are. Everyone agreed with Sunny. They didn't want their friend to have any more troubles. That made the pout pout fish feel better. And after swimming all around, it was nice to sit and take it easy with his friends. At first, all of them chatted and told stories and jokes, but soon they ran out of things to say. They grew quiet. Many of them fell fast asleep. <laughs> They're sleeping. The pout pout fish felt very safe and very bored. And then he realized something. Oh no, he said. I wonder what he just realized. What is he thinking? What's wrong? asked Sonny. I am fine, said the pout pout fish. But sitting around and waiting for something terrible to happen when we should be playing and having fun is no good. <laughs> it is worse than a scrape on your fin or a bump on your nose. The pout pout fish darted off. Let's play tag, he said. And I am not it. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. 
as they scurried this way and that the rest of the afternoon, there were a couple more bumps and scrapes. Ray bruised his tail and Steffi twisted a tentacle. But after making sure they were okay, the friends got right back to their game. Nobody looked for trouble and they all found fun. Oh, great. Boys and girls, you are great listeners. And next week we will read Space Chase. Wow. Okay, boys and girls, thank you for coming back to my channel. I hope you have a terrific day, and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.